everyone. This is Vivian from The Hive. Today we are sitting down with Donnie from Loyal Dogs, the new esports team for Onward. They play other games as well, but we're sitting down with Donnie and we're going to ask some questions about them in their first season with Onward VRML. So Donnie, it's your first season. Um, I want to hear, like, let's hear about like why you guys chose Onward. Yeah, well, we play Onward at the beginners in the beginning of the time, about 2007. Uh, 17, sorry. Uh, it was a bad experience because uh, the sick motion, it was too hard for us. I so see. we put it aside and start playing other games like Space Junkies, Skyfront, and other games. It's more easy to play, even Bit Saber. But uh, when the ESL take the game to use it on war into the league, we say, well, let's try it again. And the Team, the dev team works a lot in the sick motion and it was a very spreading for us to play. Uh, we started practicing about five, six months ago. Okay. Like and where, where are you guys based? We are in Canary Island in Spain. We're uh, very far from Spain, but it's a nice spring territory. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, and you, you all live, do you know each other in person? You live nearby? Yeah, we we know each other. We always uh, practice here in the uh, Canary Beach place. It's a uh, arcade for beer. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually practice there. Uh, if, when we're not practicing, we usually go for a dinner or something like that. But okay. It's, uh, a friendly team. Okay, that's cool. Uh, how many people are on your team? We are eleven right now. <laughs> eleven. Was, well, eleven people. <laughs> and yeah. You and your organization, right? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, we well, have uh, some squads like Onward. We have uh, been stable, like I said before. We are uh, trying to get inside the uh, Echo Arena. Mm -hmm. uh, we need a lot of people to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems like yeah. it. Um, so you ha you're like a whole esports organization, right? You guys chose Onward after, like, now you think that it's improved a lot. How is it? How is it playing it now? against your other games that you've played? Well, uh, the decision for us uh, really hard to me because I played before Counter-Strike a lot. I like uh, uh, conventional uh, games, but I have to leave it because we grow, I need to work, and the life just don't let me play again. And we, yeah. we take the, the arcade, we, we my, my wife and I create the arcade uh, kind of beautiful, and we love the eSports, and obviously the VR eSport was uh, the way we want to go. Uh, we created the team. The first team wasn't called uh, Loyal Dogs. The first team is Kennedy Virtual Team. Not too good. <laughs> but we, we, we was creating this. We play first singular game, single players, and then we try to make a team great, uh, make great, uh, big, sorry. And then we start and the onward parade. We say, let's play it. Yes, no, let's try. It. Yeah. It really hard. Now we we trying to to do our best because other teams have a lot of time practicing mm, right. like us. Yeah. Uh, so it's very hard to us to compete, but we're trying. Like yeah. in, in other games, we try it and try and try. So uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes not good <laughs> at all. But we tried, and we yeah. have very fun of that. So how many hours do you guys have, like your average hours for your players? Yeah, the average hours in our place about 30 hours is a... 30 hours? Wow. Yeah. And, you're, and you're playing, you're, wow, you're playing against some teams with like thousands of hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, I have the most time is about 80 hours. It's not too much. Oh, but wow. Okay. Try it. We use the experience of Counter Strike to to this, but it's not enough. Yeah, it's really not the same, right? Because yeah. because in Counter Strike you can talk to each other the whole time, and right, you yeah. know, you kind of know where your teammates are, that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and not a, when you play play games, if one dies, we don't we don't know. Even if we're playing in arcade, we never know it. Right. So this is 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 confusing for us because sometimes we we think that everybody is alive and we, we shake the table. Okay, I'm alone. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone help you guys get started with some of the basics of the game? Did you do, did you reach out to any coaches or did you do boot camps? 
No, we 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 met uh, about six months ago when we start the rookie bootcamp that have some players of the of the league, but we never because the time we never can inside, get inside of the of the bootcamp, but we try to practice by by our own. Mm -hmm. about where now in the game we saw a lot of videos. We try to see the weapons, try it's more uh, it's, uh, experimental experience. yeah yeah right uh well, i mean i do hope you guys stay with it because um i joined the league at very low hours too and i started a team and it's kind of crazy because um you know the things i know now i'm like oh my gosh what was i thinking back then and most people they have like 700 hours and then they join the league you know so i think it's great that you guys are doing it though because we need more teams so um but i did watch your game with um Oh, geez. There's not many Phantoms? choices. Yeah. Yes. Phantoms. Yes. Um, and uh, I know that the caster, uh, Sleepy, he, you know, he casts other games and stuff. So he wasn't sure. He's was like, wait, what's going on? What's happening with this team? Um, and, and I watched the game. Uh, did you guys watch that tape again? Did you see it? Yeah. Afterwards? Times. Oh, okay. Good. So, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, I mean, that's not great. It, but I'm just saying from a place where, because I know what it's like to completely, like, lose. Um, so I'm, like, right there with you, and that's why I messaged you. And I was like, you know what? I hope you stay with it because it can be kind of discouraging. But you guys seem to just, like, bounce back up. How do you keep going when it's when it's a, such a difficult game? Well, we, we try to don't put the face down. We try to keep it going. We know that it's our very first league. And, well, very first league, no. We start in the ESL, but it's our first season. Uh, it's going yeah. to be really, really hard to us. So this league, we are using to, to learn from the other teams. We try to do a lot of scrims uh, in the week mm -hmm. when we can. <laughs> But to get the experience of the other teams, because if they know and we saw it, we saw it playing, and we play with them, we learn from what they're doing. And this is a, a kind of, of teaching that we are trying to to learn something. Yeah. Do you guys um work on uh, any? Well, I was gonna say, do you work on any plays yet? But I guess you're still getting to know the maps and different callouts for the game. Well, we are very starting, so uh, we are trying to learn about one or two callouts from e each map. So mm -hmm. it's very basic, basic of what we, what we do. Yeah, um, I found that it's just you just play play it a lot and a lot because they let they give you maps where you can look from the top, but that's really hard. Like it's different from looking from the top versus going into the game and seeing it. So uh, what? What we did, because we didn't know the call-outs, like all of them, um, we just tried to describe the closest thing to us, you know, or when we spawn in, say, oh, that's north, just make sure you know that's north and that's south, so that we just kind of remember that way. That's how I think, and we, st I still don't know all the call-outs for, like, downfall and stuff whenever people say the buildings. It's really difficult, but, yeah, just kind of, like, knowing where your teammates are and just talking a lot. Um, is there anything that you see league players do when you watch these games that you think like I can't do that like for me I, I hear a lot of people who start and for me too say like I don't want to talk I don't want people to know where I am I don't want to say anything because then they'll hear me um, but when you watch the teams they're like talking all the time so do you see anything like that that you're just like okay that how do they do that <laughs> well uh, there's a lot of things that they do that I can't that we can't uh, in downfall uh, shoot at the windows and kill. That's something that I tried even with my own team practicing and it's hard to do it. I don't know if they use uh, the Pro Tool or something like that, but they have a very good aim in the long distance. Oh, right, yeah, in downfall, <laughs> right? With the shoot, yeah. yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really just being in the map for a really long time and knowing yeah. where to hold things. Um, yeah, it definitely. Which downfall hold, is hard. <laughs> yeah, which hole uh, where you have to, to shoot to kill somebody. That's, uh, right. that's something that we need a lot of practice and know the map. The callouts, like I said, we have two or three things that we said to, or, to, or, to know where we are. But uh, if somebody is in that building, we say, they are in that building, and it has <laughs> the big one. Yeah, the, the big one. 
in the window. Which one? You know, hopefully it's funny to say that. There is in the window. And you hear in the radio a lot of loud. Yeah. Um, a lot of teams ban downfall <laughs> when they first start because it's, that's, I mean, all the maps are different. Like, I really like downfall, but it's a tough map because it's so exposed. You really have to be coordinated with your team to know where everyone is going. So, but what about the other maps? Well, what maps do you like and, and know better? We prefer the small maps. <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah. In our team, it's uh, two ace of players that play a lot of uh, small places and they practice CQB. It's uh, mm, like uh, SWAT moves. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to us to, to learn in the smallest map. But in the biggest one, the, the one that we play is downfall because quarantine was a nightmare. The, the, what the, the times we played was a nightmare and bizarre. Well, it's a... Uh, it's good, but they they have a lot of lead spaces where then they kill you, and we don't practice it a lot. We need it. We know we need it, but we're doing from the small map to the biggest ones. Right. Um, yeah. That, I mean, that makes sense. I think the first map that everyone learns is Suburbia, just because it's you know. Suburbia it's is a, <clears throat> a rookie t a rookie map. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't really like that map because I think because everyone. Um, Everyone knows it. It's the most like familiar one, and then uh, <clears throat> so people practice it a lot, and so you've been playing it a long time. Um, so it goes like kind of like back and forth about uh, with that one. What's the what's the things that you guys say like? Okay, this is what we have to absolutely do when we're playing onward. You know, as a rookie team. Yeah, we the first things we practice is the defense. We try to find the best place to defend, the best spots to don't uh, lose the uplink. But uh, when we have one map uh, gated, we have the map understand it, we change to the offensive move. We try to see where is the best place to, to attack, to, to launch uh, frag grenades, to launch the flash. But we, it's a very slow practice that we have here now, here, 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 trying to see where is the best spot to, to attack. Uh, but we, the first thing we try to do is the, have a perfect defense, perfect uh, mm -hmm. in practice, in theory, not in practice. In practice, change a lot of things, but we try to to have it the defense very planned. Yeah, that's solid. That's what we do. What are some good moments though? Like, have you capped even in practice, or you know, any anything that you like did that you're like, wow, that was that was really cool. <laughs> like, have you ever sent up the uplink in a in a lobby or? In the ESL, yes, not in the, I guess no, in the Master League, I think, no, we don't have captured yet. We was almost uh, captured about three seconds more and we have it, but no, they kill us. Right. But in the VR Leagues, it was a little easier uh, to do that, but in the Master League, it's a nightmare. Well, what's the difference that you uh, found here? Well, the teams uh, was there was uh, four or five teams that was constantly playing in the ESL. The rest of the team, a part of us, uh, was uh, one uh, four weeks, one week. Then they stop about two weeks, and then they play again. So that uh, give us the opportunity that that rookie games was a rookie games too that can win a, win there with them. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay. Um, well, how has it been joining VR Master League? Have you, you know, who do you, what other teams do you talk with or practice with or um, just the general reception of the league? Well, we know, we knew the Master League about a year or more. We, we, I started with the VR Master League uh, playing Beat Saber when Beat Saber uh, released. But I don't know why the Beat Saber was uh, put off of the league, and then we have to uh, wait. I don't. Uh, we saw uh, contractors uh, Pavlov mm -hmm. that is uh, more similar to Counter Strike, but we don't like it. It's, for VR, it's not the best game of shooter. Uh, the award that uh, we knew it. But we don't have the team to participate. 
I was looking for people that usually play Counter Strike, that usually like the shooter games, that usually like the military moves. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a the way that I I create the the squad, the squad. Right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you so you play with the EU team. So it's a smaller it's a smaller group of, of teams. Do you ever play the NA teams, North America? Never before. Oh really? No. Yeah. We could be your first. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we love um, to to be like this. That you are the first one because we have well, you have more strength than us, but we don't want to play versus danglers or something like that. That. Um, <laughs> yeah well actually our team is uh, we have new people and then we're a new team too so uh, the advantage goes to the team not to the not to the people like the group of people that have the best players it's the team that works as a team yeah it's a yeah. game of teamwork in the ESL we play uh, all the Sundays uh, versus beginners and uh, they were our uh, any team that we, we do our best, even losing, we do our best. We play against other teams that is not beginners, but they kill us faster. Uh, I don't know if they rush every time, uh, beginners don't, but uh, we have a lot of fun uh, playing against beginners. Yeah, and they're actually really helpful too. So Yeah, yeah. a lot. Um, that's what I did after we played. I always just ask the captains like, can you give me some feedback like what do we do um and it turns out it's just like simple things that we just didn't realize we were doing and um, just watching the tapes and then learning from it so you have a game with beginners today yeah in about half hour yeah and how do you prepare okay. for it well it's a fun week so we're going to have fun okay we're going do to you have play any ideas Are you yeah gonna... we're going to play downfalls Card, I guess. It's card now. Uh, Upling Assault. Oh. It's, a, it's a fun way to, to play a downfall yeah. because half a lot of respawn. Yeah, we, yes, we did fun week too. We played downfall night with no night vision. <laughs> that's what we did. It's pretty crazy. Um, but that's this is a really good way to um, kind of like learn from them or try out like weapons that, you know, that you've yeah. never tried before or something oh you'll have fun though you have fun so um i hope you guys i hope you guys just stick with it and do a lot of scrims because um a lot of teams in the eu especially they they just climbed you know like after a certain point after so many hours they just you know started doing better and um and yeah, it just it just takes time. That's what everyone says. It takes time. Just takes time. But no, it, it, it's absolutely it just take time because this league it have not two veterans teams. The uh, four or five teams have a lot of time, but the other teams no, and less uh, playing like a team. So they have a few players that have a lot of hours, but the other ones are rookie like, like you and me are even less. But uh, playing in team together don't have a, a, enough time. This is a, something that we can take it to advantage to the other teams. Yeah. Because we play always together. And you know each uh, other. Yeah. Yeah. And we, when we go to dinner, we usually use the laptop and say, I, I bring the Suburbia map. Let's see it. People say, really? I want to eat. No. It's practice. <laughs> yeah, it's all, you, you can always just talk about it. We, I mean, we do things like um, for practice, we go into Uplink and we have everyone come and uh, you pull the pin and the grenade and then everyone has to cap before it blows up. You know, stuff like that just to get faster at it. Um, or we just do the same thing over and over again or we hold the same position or we practice, you know, different moves um, just like over and over. And it gets kind of boring, but then when it, when it works, you know, you're like, great, yeah, that was great, that's what I did. Yeah, it looks great, very good. Yep, yeah, make them, make them, make them uh, work for that. <laughs> so you, <laughs> I, you can't have food until you tell me the callouts for this map. <laughs> Something. But um, hopefully, I can get your whole team on, and and we can, you know, kind of talk about your guys's season and uh, you know what you've learned so far. You said you have 18 hours in the game. Uh, I have 80 hours. 80 hours. 80 hours. And okay. The other have 
76, the, the next one, and then everybody, everybody left uh, is about 50 or less hour. Wow. It's a uh, very few hours if you see the other players. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the top players, they have That's like 20, 27 I get, hours. I guess uh, all other players uh, together, we have uh, less hour than one <laughs> or <laughs> one player of the other teams. Yeah. How many hours do you practice a week? Well, we try to do about four to six hours right now because uh, they um summer vacation. The other ones are working. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. We're working uh, September where everything is going regular again. Right. And try to, to have 10, hour, uh, 10 hours, something like that. Two yeah. hours per day. Right, because um, like, I practice like 20 hours a week, so... Just, I mean, I mean, a lot of people put in a lot of hours, so I can see, if you, especially if you guys are doing other, other games as well. But um, even then, even just doing, making sure that you just make sure you get those hours in um, playing in lobbies. So, I mean, that's what I did too. I started really, really little hours. I don't know why I did that, but I mean, I think that's really cool that you guys are doing that. And then also, um, you're gamers, so I'm not a gamer, so you guys already have a lot of more experience with that. <laughs> without that yeah. without that yeah, you we, thought that okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was, it's not what you think right oh well i want to hear about that you so you thought you guys were like oh yeah we, we played counter-strike yeah uh, i have about 1000 hours in counter-strike something mm -hmm. like that and the other ones similar one half uh, 10,000 hours something like i say what oh okay yeah but it's not the same because in Contrast, right, you use mouse and keyboard. So, and you know, where you use all your body, you have to be more inside of the game. You have to, there's something totally different. But yeah. something, we, we have something that we always see pixels. So, that, that's, a, that's a start. Yeah. <laughs> We're always seeing ice cream. And that's work a little. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's cool. No, keep keep with it. I think, um, and it's really fun, you know. And then when you do win, it's like you know, it feels good. Yeah, it's fun when you win. <laughs> no, no, when you finally win. <laughs> hey, I'm joking. When, when we played my first season, we lost twenty seven maps in a row before we won a map. Okay, uh, is that a record? Huh? Is that a record? Mm, because... I don't know. We, because I thought that uh, I think that we we have your record. We have three no thirty thirty two maps loses in straight. Thirty two maps lost straight. Okay. Well, we won one. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know what? It's but the thing is, is that we have nowhere to go but up. You know. <laughs> uh, we know that this this season the the goal is not to win is to learn. Um, that's what Good. we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, we don't think to win even around, but when we, when we won, we, when we win it, we celebrate, but we keep going. We say, good, let's, let, let's see how they do it now. Yeah. Because the, the objective, the goal is to see what they do. Mm -hmm. Learn yeah. about the other teams. Yeah, and have, and have fun, right? Have fun. And it's fun, it's funny. Because you see, oh, you see, sometimes you see the, the mistakes that they do, but it's not, uh, sorry, you see the mistake what you do uh, when they do it. You say, oh, this is not the way, and they do it, and you say, well, I'm not doing too bad, or this is a mistake. If you kill it, it's a mistake, or something like that. But that's usually happening, that you you go in a way, you, kill, uh, you get killed, but when they come in that way, and you, get, and you kill the guy, you say, oh, it works. <laughs> Yeah, right. It's a, sometimes it is it is um, luck, you know, or timing or something like that. Um, so it is it is a lot of skill. It's a lot of communicating and, and knowing the map and stuff. But, you know, sometimes it's just you get a lucky kill or, you know, you're in a bad spot just that one time, you know, so that that does happen too. Yeah. Um, well, I'll let you get going to the game, but hopefully we can we can talk again and we can scrim and uh, yeah, I hope that we can scream. Uh, I don't know if this week that's coming is a good week or the next one. In yeah. September, we're going to stop uh, one week. 
because we're going to change something here in Cardi Virtual. Uh, we have to stop all the, all the stations. But in September 50, we start again and rejoin the, the league. On the oh, yeah. Yeah, you could take, a, you could take like a, a week off and, you know, do your yeah, thing. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's something that we can't do in the ESL because if you lose a week, is uh, they don't stop. You lose the, all the points that you can do. Here uh, you, can, you can do challenges and it's good. You can do yeah, yeah. and recovery all the time that you can lose. Okay. And is, is Onward like your favorite game now? Because it's... <laughs> well, I have a uh, it soul. I am a Beat Saber player. Oh, I right. Love, I, I love Beat Saber, but uh, Onward is a game that brings me to my uh, other game that is Counter-Strike and it's a little approach to my childhood. childhood. Oh, right. So, uh, it's good. Yeah, uh, it's my almost favorite. Well, fifty fifty. Yeah, you know what's funny? When I first started, I was just so bad, right? But then I would say, "Okay, guys, come play Beat Saber with me, so I can beat you at something." <laughs> I'm sure you'll probably beat blow me away. I have not played Beat Saber in a long time, but um, or not, I'm not. I don't play as much as I used to. But th that's what I did. I was like, "All right, fine, come over here. I'll, I'll beat you over here." <laughs> so. That's the way to to compete. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, Donnie, for uh, joining us today and just giving us some thoughts about loyal dogs. I know everyone was really curious and just wanted to know about your team. So. Yeah, I saw in the some uh, streams that they are asking about us. We know in, in the onward community we are not so famous. Obviously, it's our first uh, season, but uh, in the Val Virtual Athletic League, they know us a lot, and other yeah. games they know us. You um, have the most followers of all the teams in the leagues. <laughs> you guys uh, have a presence, so. Yeah, we have a very good uh, social manager that is working on that uh, to to bring the people to know the virtual reality and to know the VR sport. Uh, we always, when we talk to the other teams, we try to tell them that uh, do the same work because they are various in their games, like on work and they obviously can have more followers, but it's a really slow work that we're doing. Try to, yeah. to see the, the league uh, even more professional from the teams, not from the leagues, uh, from the teams. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree, I agree with you. You have uh, also a good uh, uh, picture of your team. I love your logo, it's a very Oh, good. thanks, that, oh, I can't say thank you. That was pink, she did all that. So, yeah, yeah, because that's what I did before, you know, I can, I can do some marketing stuff, but also because I Absolutely. want people to, I want people to come and play it, and it's not just like, it's not about like us, like we want to be famous, it's not, because we're, we know we're like in last place, so it's not, it's not something that's that we're it. like striving for, we're just, we just want people to know that it's you not, can join. That's it, it's not about the, the players, it's not about the people, it's about the community, to make this right. community grow, because, uh, it's a better pe people in this community than other teams. They are in other communities, sorry. Uh, there's a lot of toxic people in the conventional games that uh, is a damaged uh, community. But in the war, I saw that everybody is friendly, super friendly, and we love that. And we try to bring social and friendly people to this community. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't play other esports, but that's what everyone always says, like this toxic people, but um yeah i i i'll assume okay yeah sure but uh yeah we do have a good community so i'm glad you guys yeah. are gonna stick with us and you're you are us now we're we're one we're one community so. that's it all right well thank you donnie um thanks for joining us and good luck with your game today with beginners a fun week see ya Bye. -bye. good luck to you guys bye <laughs>